summer, but we're glad you're here with us to honor our new ladies and knights of St. Gregory. I don't know if you know anything about the Order of St. Gregory, and I don't want to give you a long history about it, but just to let you know, it's an honor that comes from the Pope. It's like when we make a monsignor for priests. The bishop recommends a person writing a CV about them, and we send that through the papal ambassador, called the Nuncio, to Rome, and they study the dossier, and then they say yes or no. And all of them got a yes. So we're happy that, that we could say that. So then what happens is they send us a, a parchment that actually comes from the Secretary of State in Rome and uh, also a medal of this honor of St. Gregory. It's named after Pope St. Gregory. We have this picture up over back here. So this is really a papal honor and it's given thanks uh, to Bishop Gregory's recommendation. The medal that you get today is only part of your honor. Uh, ladies, if you go to Rome with your medals, with a black dress and a black mantilla, they'll sit you right up next to the Pope, believe it or not. And for the men, they have an outfit. They look like the green hornet. It's a green outfit with a green hat. Uh, you can Google it online. It's kind of interesting. Uh, we don't give you those things here because usually we don't use them in this country. But you do have a right, like all of the monsignors, to sit at the altar, which is why they're here today. You know, Bob, are you with me the lady quite a while? I don't know if you've ever used that right. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, it, it's a great privilege. And you should, you're all family and friends, and you should be proud that they were chosen and given this honor by the Holy Father, Pope Francis. So we welcome you in just a moment. We'll begin the Mass today uh, in those red books in the pews. And the first page number up on the board here is what we're going to start with, and I think it's 473. It's the Mass for Friday. Today's Friday. So we just want to we'll ask you to stand and, and we'll begin the Mass. Page 475, we welcome each and every one of you. 
page 475. Always striving to remember the martyrs, those who are courageous enough to give their life for the faith. Page 475. <laughs> Make us worthy to raise glory to you for your strength and them in their struggle. And to raise thanks to your beloved Son for inscribing the names of the Holy Church. And to raise hymns of praise to the Holy Spirit who crowned them. O Lord our God, to you be glory forever. Oh, uh-huh. 
or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and man. The Pharisees who loved money heard all these things and sneered at him. And he said to them, You justify yourselves in the sight of others, but God knows your hearts. For what is of man esteemed is an abomination in the sight of God. The law of the prophets lasted until John, but from then on the kingdom of God is proclaimed, and everyone who enters does so with violence. It is easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for the smallest part of the letter of the law to become invalid. What is more is for me? This is the truth, peace be with you. Praise and blessings to Jesus. He wrote three letters. 
In each of the letters, he refers to the church as a sheep, the mother, as a woman, and as a fruitful woman, woman with children, spiritual children. So he says, I, the presbyter, the older man, am referring to you, the lady, and your children. It's a beautiful expression of the church as a mother and her having children. Today we celebrate every Friday of the commemoration of the martyrs, those children of the church who were fearless before struggles, fearless before those who would kill them if they didn't deny their faith. It's not just something long time ago, it's also true of us today. And so, who is the elder? John says, I the elder, the president. It's John, who is the beloved disciple himself. And then he talks about us as the beloved lady. The beloved lady. How beautiful the image is. The church, the beloved lady. And then her children. Today, the Order of St. Gregory is given to those faithful Christians and workers who have seen the church as a mother, seen her as a naturally loving mother, and with their eyes have seen that the church might need something, might need them. And they have offered themselves. The four who are here and the others who are not able to be here. They have offered themselves for the love of God and the love of the church. So, to make this comedy very short and to get to work, the lady, the elect, thanks those who noticed that their mother needed them and came to her side and made her even more beautiful than she is actually. So thank you to each one of you, to your families, and to all those who shared today in this beautiful day. Thank you, and may God bless you. We now have our little ceremony of installation. We have three members, new members of the Order of St. Gregory that are not here with us today because of health reasons. That doesn't mean they have a cold, it means they really do not get out. And I'd like to tell you just a few lines about each of them today because they feel terrible that they can't be here. Now, the first one is Mrs. Faith Jarvis. Faith is one of our deacon's wives, Deacon John Jarvis. And Faith was born a Methodist. She was not a Catholic, and uh, she became familiar with the Catholic Church, and uh, she became a Catholic, and then she loved the Maronites, so she became a member of the Maronite Church, and her husband eventually became a deacon. So you think you should give this to the deacon, but, you know, behind every good man is a good woman. You know that story. So uh, Faith is the one who really has just been there by her husband's side. And I can tell you about looking at the paper because her husband is my deacon in Fort Lauderdale only for, only for the past few years though. Before that, they worked in Washington, D.C. Uh, they're not Lebanese, and as I said, Faith was an even Catholic originally, but she had the thankless job. You know the ones that stay behind in the sacristy and have to wash all these linens and all those things that would clean the child's with and take care of the priest's vestments. That's what she did all of her years in Washington and in Fort Lauderdale. Besides that, you have people get up and do the reading every Sunday. She's the one who organizes all the lectures, emails them the readings ahead of time so that hopefully they'll practice. She really has been a blessing every community she so, so that's why we have faith as one person but she cannot be here today because of her health. The second lady is a lady by the name of uh, Rhonda Lamu and she's from our parish in Pleasantville, New Jersey, our latest star of the East. And Rhonda is married by origin 
but she was born in Jordan. Now, we have our church in, uh, in Pleasantville, New Jersey, is fairly new. Why? Because she was an instrumental force in getting a church there. We need a church, we need a church. Okay, get the people together and let's have a church. And she did. So it's really thanks to her that that church is there and her family. And I think we have some of her family members here today, I'm not sure. Her two sons are like, oh, great. So we're, we're so happy uh, to be able to honor her in this way. Once the church was there, don't think that she gave up. She was still there, helping in all things. Uh, sometimes the priest didn't quite get it. She would, and she would be the one to help us out. So Rhonda, unfortunately, is not able to be here also because of her help. I ask her to please pray for her because she's very sick at this time, and she needs our prayers as well. And the third person who's not here is a man, Robert DeCivio. He's from our church outside of Buffalo, New York, in Williamsburg, New York. Robert is one of those people who is just a little of everything. President of the Parish Council, President of the Holy Name Society, Chairman of the Lebanese Festival, you know how important that is. Just a great husband, a great father, and a great example. So why not pick somebody like that? So uh, that's Robert, and he also is not able to be here today. Now we go to those here. If you don't mind, I'm not going to read this stuff because I know that. So I'm going to tell you from my heart uh, why you're here, I think. Camille has served every bishop in this FRP since Archbishop Zayn. Over 30 years working with priests and vicars general, meaning for Bishop Joe Cato and others. She should be a saint, not a knight of St. Gregory. So Camille, uh, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all you've done. She is kind of retired, but we pull her out uh, when we can. If any of you have ever called a chance to ask for anything and you spoke to me or to one of the bishops, we probably said to you, we'll ask Camille. And that's why Camille is here today. So Camille, please come up with Glenn and receive him. You know, the priests aren't used to putting things on women's clothes. It takes a lot of time. So it's a <laughs> Next we have Claire Habib. Claire if you mention Claire's name to anybody in the parish, they all know her because she's involved in anything. What you may not know is that Claire started out working at Bankers Trust in Wall Street and retired as the vice president of that company in 1993. She has served under various bishops on our finance council the National Apostle of the Maronite, that we call Nan. She's in the Order of St. Charbel as a perpetual member. And she's a trustee of this cathedral. 
a wonderful example. And the only thing I'm sorry about is we should have given this to Claire probably 30 years ago. Congratulations. Next we have Marie Fifa B. I never knew her name was Marie, everybody calls her Fifa. She's from our parish in Waterville, Maine, the northernmost parish of the Eparchy. Marie was involved in the parish in Waterville since its beginnings. And I can tell you that my first visit to Waterville, all I heard was, ask Fifa. She took care of the choir. She did the readings. She was involved in counting the money. She was involved in working the bingo. Everything that you hear all these people do for the church, she did them all. She is really a gem and most hospitable to all priests. You know, sometimes we have our favorites and priests get moved back and forth. No matter who, she was there and we could trust her with anything. A true confident of the priest. So, people, congratulations, and I wish you many happy, long years. Last but not least, we have Rodney Thomas. Rodney is my dad's first cousin, but there's no nepotism here. Rodney's from New Bedford, Massachusetts originally. He now belongs to our church in Cranston, Rhode Island, St. George. So why is Rodney here? Rodney loves priests. All he asks about all the time, do we have enough to take care of the retired priests? It's thanks to people like him that we're able to give some kind of stipend to these priests. Rodney has served on our Department Finance Council, and probably the most difficult job he had is when the church in Providence, Rhode Island, burned down, the church that he helped I found when they bought that new church. He was head of the committee to build a new church or to find a new church. Have you ever worked with a committee of 50 Lebanese to find a church? He was able to keep everyone in good order, in good control, and found us a beautiful church in Cranston, Rhode Island. If you ever hear of it, it's a beautiful church. Rodney, we thank you for all your efforts and for not giving up on us. In our overall review. We'll now continue with the Mass. We would ask those who are helping with the transfer of the gifts at this time to please come to the side altar. And the rest of us will stand and profess our faith together. 
We're on page 748. 748. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for our sin and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate with the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He was again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is the glory and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess on baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the Lord to come. Amen. May you so
74 we have for St. Peter. Oh, 
who have come to their rest among the saints. Remember those who diligently carried your gospel throughout the whole world and confirmed your holy church in the true faith. Assist us through their prayers and to strengthen us in your love. We pray to you, O Lord. Favor, we remember what our parents, brothers and sisters, teachers, and all the faithful departed here and everywhere who have gone to their rest. Forgive us and forgive them of all sins and offenses. While Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ who is without sin, we hope to find mercy and forgiveness for our sins and for theirs. Grant us to our to depart and forgive the sins we have committed. سمحنا اللهم واغفر لنا ولنا فيتم اجل ابينا وبكل شايس محمدان ما يسمى بنا يسر المسيح وروحي الحي القدوس الان وروحي لنا Thank you. 
ask your body to eat and your life to be but to drink. The lover of all people, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. O compassionate and merciful one, O lover of all people, have mercy on us.
country for a second. So, St. Francis College, where the instruction is for those of them body, it's one block on Ransom Street, and it's on the first floor. It's down on Ransom, and it's on your right. The first floor. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.